ain't gonna lie, bro. I used to always look at flavor waiting on this motherfucker. I said, I know okay. it's gonna drop yeah. this week. Let me tell you. I was saying Google them from Red Run Records yeah. putting their shit yeah. on there, the local me, dudes. Let me like, tell you I that no story. Them coming. Let me tell you that story. Shit. <clears throat> on Christmas Day, 2000, Chad called me and asked me to come to Houston to do a show. Open up for UGK. UGK hadn't performed in about five years. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When first show, he's excited, man. I need you to open up for me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. On marketing and just, just keeping uh, the whole situation, just, just conveying through the whole situation of UGK and Bobo Luciani. But Bo Bobo Luciano, I'm sorry. You know, yes, I, sir, I, I stand to be corrected. How do you, do you, do? is there any anything you felt like, damn, I could have marketed that a little bit better to keep my relevancy or, you um, know what I mean? Or, or I could have did this or that. And we just speak in hindsight. Yeah, the bitch get up off me. You know, I, yeah. You know, one, because bitch get up off me was rolling. Yeah. I had gone, mind you, it was just me and my clique. Okay. Shout out to I Sam. I wanted to ask you that, too. What was your like, company I'm, situation? I yeah. We on that Southwest Wholesale. Now we on our own record label. Okay. What was, um, what was Rogue, you Roguish Life Entertainment. Roguish okay. Life. okay. Roguish Life Entertainment. It was myself. Sandman out of Paris, Texas. Yeah, yeah. You, know you talk about him out of Paris. Yeah, that's yeah. my guy. That's your boy. Um, 3G uh, Slash. 3G yeah. Slash, know him. Yeah. 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 You know, so, um, uh, and I had a little group called uh, the Swisser Boys. Shout out to Red Rum and Speedy. And, but we we just did a lot, man. We, I mean, kind of like UGK in the beginning. It's just us four and, and, my, and Rich Mac. Rich Mac, my manager. We just went around and ate this motherfucking South up, bro. And we would just... I had a plan of just doing it, you know, kind of paying attention to the UGK strategy. Get your hood on your side, get your city on your side, get your state on your side, then go get your region on your side. So that's how I was traveling. And so I had gotten as far as Tennessee. My next step was going to Atlanta. Yeah. And that's right around the time uh, C went to jail. Yeah. So when yeah. C went to jail, we were all kind of like, damn, what the fuck? So, so that's what we dropped the ball. So was yeah. the video ever in production? Are like people talking about it? Okay, I, mean, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I used to always look at flavor waiting on this motherfucker. I said, okay. I know it's oh, gonna yeah. drop this week. Let me tell you. I was saying Google them from Red Run Records, yeah. putting their shit yeah. on there, the local me, dudes. Let me like, tell you I that no story. Them coming. Let me tell you that story. Shit. <clears throat> on Christmas Day, two thousand, Chad called me and asked me to come to Houston to do a show. Open up for UGK. UGK hadn't performed in about five years. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When first show, he's excited, man. I need you to open up for me. So I go drive to Houston. Me and my clique go to Houston on Christmas Day. And we do that show. Come back to Dallas. It, it was uh, Bubba Luciano, myself, I'm tripping, talking in third person. And, uh, <laughs> and the middle fingers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We opened Bar up. B group. Yeah, yeah. And they had, uh, Mama called me probably a week or two after that. And she said, that show was such a success, we got people wanting to book a 30 city tour, mm. okay? And she said, what we're gonna do, baby? She said, hey baby, this is what we're gonna do. She said, we're gonna do 15 dates. She said, your minimal, you know, that's what we're talking 2000, so don't laugh at these prices, okay? Yeah. Your minimal is 3500 a show. I think that's great. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you know, you, you, you'll get it on upwards on, on the big shows, you know, you know, six to five hundred. I said, okay, cool. One single act, shit, that's good numbers. I said, okay, and I'm and I'm getting exposure. Exposure, yeah. She said we're gonna do fifteen so, uh, shows, and we're gonna come back to Houston, and we're gonna shoot the video to look at me. Oh shit! I said, okay, mom, who's shooting the video? My mind is rolling now. Boom time. She said, boom time. I knew it. So <laughs> you got to realize, you got to realize <laughs> that boy know <laughs> what y'all don't know, and he he probably know this the history, boom town. Is from Port Arthur. I yeah, yeah, I knew that. PA. Boomtown was in that first group that PMC was in. No, I didn't. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, Boom Boomtown was a rapper. I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, he used shit. to come down when I was living in Port Arthur. He used to come down. Yeah, yeah and it's on San Jack, sit down, and talk I'm to us. And, but he was already in Dallas doing his thing. Yeah, but he would come come home and yeah, Nahalia is it? Some, I believe something like that is his real name. Yeah, yeah. he. Uh, yeah, he would come That's down. Crazy. So, so when he said Boomtown, I said, Mama, since we're all going to be in attendance, can we please just shoot the video the bitch get up off me right then and there? She said, hold on, let me call Chad and figure it out. She called me back two, three minutes. She said, man, that's genius. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> Already. The next week he went to uh, to that court appearance. 
And they locked him up. And never came out. Damn. Damn. That's why you never saw a bitch get up off me. Damn. So is. stuff, but stuff like that had been happening to me my whole career. From you know, I had a song that's supposed to be on uh, Super Tight. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. See, after three sixteens, it was another song, yeah. and the artwork was already done for Super Tight. Name of High it? Till I Die. It had uh, PLC rapping first. I'm rapping rapping second, and Big Mike on the on the uh, running ankle. <laughs> Big yeah. Mike? <laughs> yeah, I just yeah. was watching Big Mike shit last night. Yeah, What's up, right. Big Mike? That's my nigga, man. That, hey, I, I, I love that boy, I man. I teach you the about Peter that. Man. Yeah, yeah, the Peter man. man. That, that, nigga, nigga, that, that nigga killed the whole summer for me. That nigga, hey, man. That whole summer was going with that, that boy. That hey, had Big a hell Mike. of a run. Yeah, oh, man. That's something so serious. Nigga, still, still listening to that to this day. Still serious. There's no more time in here, man. So on Still Serious, you remember the verse he kicked on there on on his video. All a dream. Now where he said, it's the bigger the blacker the, the nigga. Bigger, bigger, that's the verse from that's from, from, from How Till I Die. Oh, he damn it, boy. It. Once the song didn't come out, and he wrote that at the studio. Like, we, I years. wouldn't pick them up from there. Boy. That verse was too hard. Yeah, I got to yeah, use that bitch. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. That, man, listen, he said, I got to use that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That boy, could, man, that boy knew how to ride them beats. Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, that nigga big man. rap, man. And I'm gonna tell you who could really rap. Everybody give that boy credit because he was more stable. But that motherfucking lower three two, my no, nigga, oh, Chris yeah. Barrier. Oh yeah, three two. That boy was a animal mole, <laughs> rapping. Come yeah. on, man. Rap you remember them together, right? The the, yeah. uh, the convicts. Ooh, three two is the truth. Boy. Ooh, man, I just posted a picture of them the other day on Facebook because I just man, I'm in this say, old nostalgia. Mister Three Two, and I never trusted you. No, <laughs> two, three, the Buddha baby. <laughs> I really used to get on that bitch just, ah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, you know, uh, well, you, well, you know, he the, uh, three, two and Big Mike, they the reason uh, 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 Snoop was saying really though, really though. and all that. They yeah, was I seen, I seen Snoop, Snoop was living. So I seen Snoop, uh, 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 was it an uh, interview where he said something about that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a I little like beef over that after a while. Like around the time for, for, three, little, for, for, for a little split second. Yeah. Yeah. I, I picked up. Because cause I was on, on uh, uh, don't know, no. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't This is for the G's. Yeah. And so, this is so for check the story out. Yeah. Check this story out. When, when they got the phone call that Willie D had dropped out of the group, mm-hmm. and they, big, were, they put and Big Mike in. They're going to put Big Mike in. So Big Mike, they, they both went to the airport, leaving Los Angeles. Big Mike flew to Houston. 3 2 flew to Dallas. Because three two was gonna do some writing for Big Al, rest in peace to Big Al and Nemesis. No, Big Al. I picked him up from the airport in my little ninety two Hyundai XL five speed. <laughs> Go get him. Go with, get with him. With the banging system in the yeah. back. Yeah, that whole hidden. Yeah, bitch is bang. What you got? Two tens, two twelve. Rifle fives gate. I had two tens. Rifle fives gate. Who them tens hit them close? Yeah, yeah. But the fives gate is dope. Boy, boy, we talked about that earlier. Rifle fives gate is my capri. Man, you had that out him. Them Sherwood Vegas. Yeah. So you, I pulled up. Man, got him at the airport, and as soon as we got out the gate, that nigga said, "I got a he had this bag." He said, "Bobo, I got this bag, got this cassette." That nigga put this cassette in, and said, "These boys about to be some stars." I told you this. Yeah, story. you told that story. Hey, one with a trigger, two, two with a bat, three, two I, had played you the tape before I even met him. Before yeah. you, I mean, at least yeah. two, three months before we even heard him up here in Dallas. Yeah, and I was like, he said, "These my boys out of Los." I had never heard of Port. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.